All right, so as promised, I'm gonna do a full tutorial on conformal coating. Um, I figured uh, my other my other rooster and my other and my chameleon are both up and running, and I'm currently flying them. And this one, I'm waiting on a new side to the camera cage. So I figured, what the heck? Let's tear this one apart. Do this video. Um, I'm not going to make you sit and watch me undo every screw, so I'm just going to, I'll edit that and fast forward it later, but uh, I've got some Hellfire waterproofing systems, conformal coating, and this stuff just brushes on like a, like nail polish basically, and so um, I have used it with RC rock crawlers in the past, this will be my first FPV waterproofing, so um, I'm really excited for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just start tearing it this apart and I will speed it up in the editing. So in addition to this I'm also going to be removing this uh, power distribution board that I had paired with a F4 flight controller in a double stack and it comes really close to the VTX and it, it's just really cramped in there and I actually ended up having to move my uh, capacitor up here because it just wouldn't fit anywhere down in here so while we're at it I'm gonna go ahead and put in a CL Racing F4 this is from Race Day Quads um, fantastic prices and service and I've basically been swapping all of my quads over to the CL Racing F4 and they're all running so this all of my all of my five inches will be running the exact same stuff i'm going to go ahead and pull the props and desolder this power distribution board and we're just going to start fresh I'll clean that up before before I ship it out if someone wants to buy it. But it's a uh, Hobby Mate five in one, not three in one. Sorry, PDB VC five volt LED controller, lost plane finder, and low voltage alarm. It's selectable in the low voltage. Okay, so now we're going to start with these ESCs. This brush isn't very brushy. It's kind of clumped up. So, you just put a decent thick coat on there. I'm going to go ahead and try to hit the sides like this and the ends just to make sure you can use that the drip on the frame right there probably don't be so generous with it that it drips all over your stuff but
like that and then I'm just going to let that kind of hang there so it can dry on both sides and we'll just do that same thing on the other ones that the seal racing comes with your little soft mount grommets and this cool if you use it with a four in one you can use that little plug we'll go ahead and get this receiver done really quick so it can be drying and I'm just checking all my all my solder connections and stuff while I have these apart and if, if any of your electronics are exposed um, it's, it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and rub them down with some um, some alcohol or something to clean them with like a q-tip or something just so you're applying your conformal coating to a clean surface all my stuff has been shrink wrapped and taped and super duper covered so I'm not I'm not way worried about it sticking And we'll set that somewhere where it can dry, I guess right there. And we'll get back to the CL Racing F4. And I, just, I don't do the prettiest soldering, but it's more important to me that it's strong. Like that. It's all nice and pre tinned. Um, pretty good one. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. I was horrible when I first started this hobby. You wouldn't want me soldering anything. Now I'm not bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to conformal coat the whole back of this. And like I said, I'm think I'm just gonna try to basically fill this SD card slot in because I don't buy this board for the onboard SD. I buy it for the simplicity and mainly the durability. It seems like with the experience I've had with flight controllers, um, I've broken a couple here and there from crashes, and man, this. CL Racing F4 has been through some crazy hard crashes and held up so I'm just kind of swapping all my stuff to this board. I'm just going to go ahead and coat all this same thing I don't I don't use the plug don't plan on using it so I'm gonna fill it up that way none of that stuff can get a chunk of snow or anything in there and and uh, short anything out now the cool thing about conformal coating and I've seen this come up quite a bit um, once it's coated and sealed how do you do repairs well it's easy your soldering iron will melt right through it you don't need to clean it or anything and you can solder up your your repair and then uh, 
and then just dab right back over it and it's and it's all sealed up again so I'm gonna let that sit but I'm gonna let it sit upside down for now and here's this receiver it's dry to the touch I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on it and I'm probably going a little bit heavy on this but I don't have the fancy black light to see if I've missed a spot and I would rather do too much than miss a spot so I'm just gonna go over the ZSCs one more time like that now we'll set this aside And uh, we've got the VTX to do and the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off of there. Okay, so that's just drying. We'll put another coat on it. Um, as far as the camera goes, I am not going to open up the lens. Some people do. Um, some people will even go in there and put a dab of rain -X in it. Great idea. I'm not going to worry about that. If it gets water inside, my concern is that it doesn't fry the board. If it wants to fog up my glass or whatever, that'll be fine. Like so. So you can put a little dab of Rain X right in there, and um, if water gets in it, it, it doesn't uh, mess with the lens, but I'm not worried about that. This is what I'm concerned about. And if you want to put a little uh, dab of um, anti corrosion gel in here, that's a good idea too. And if water gets directly in the plug, it's not going to short out between them. Um, I'm just going to put a little conformal coating on it, call it a day. <laughs> you want to make sure not to get anything on this lens right here. So I'm going to start with this side up and I'm going to go right around it like this. Like that. And then we'll set that aside and let it dry also. Now we'll come back to this. Okay, so before I wire these up um, completely, one more thing I wanted to cover, and that is uh, I'm going to go ahead and re shrink wrap all these and uh, I like to do a nice little color match on some of my quads unfortunately I've never found purple shrink wrap so this one is just going to get black so it's conformal coated and then covered up and that's how that's pretty freaking safe like that, I would say. Alright, so everything's soldered in. and I'm not the very best at soldering, but um, 
you know my biggest thing is that is that stuff doesn't come undone it, it might not be super pretty and you know but <clears throat> so anyway i had to extend some esc wires and while i do that i went ahead and and redid my shrink wrap over my conformal coating and the last thing that i'll do is is set these where i want them and um zip tie them down or tape them i haven't decided on that i've kind of been going towards the tape lately I, I don't know, I just feel like it's cleaner looking, especially when it's already got the black covering on it. If you use black electrical tape, you can't really see that it's there, and it just makes for a cleaner build. And I use it to kind of seal up the ends, too. If I wrap it around the ends, that's even less chance of water or anything getting in there. So from here, we're going to go ahead and finish up the, the rest of the little bits of wiring and... I'll just fast forward you through that as I do it and then we'll conformal coat the top of the flight controller. The bottom's already all done and should be nice and sealed. The ESCs are already done, the camera's already done, and the VTX is already done. Now that this is dry, and I like to use a nice big old fat piece like that so that it kind of seals on the wires and it helps hold the antennas on. And I don't have a fancy torch or a heat gun. Well, I do. I've got an entire automotive repair shop, but I just use this when I'm at home. And you can actually pinch and seal this stuff if you get it while it's still wet or still hot I should say not wet like so and it's sealed in there like a little hot pocket so I'm going to go ahead and get this soldered back on and I just so happen to have one of these that came with some replacement ESCs that I got and I believe it will fit over this. Alright, like that. <laughs> now if that piece of heat shrink was a little bit bigger that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been so difficult. That is never coming off. Well, I am pretty sure that that is super waterproof now. And abrasion proof and it's not going to rub on anything and short out. <laughs> 